As a videographer and photographer, I use a variety of tools to bring my artistic vision to life. Today, I thought it would be fun to highlight the versatility of the smartphone camera by sharing some of my favorite wildlife videos captured using my iPhone, in no particular order. My name is Taylor, and you're watching The Yellow Bird, and here are nine of my favorite wildlife captures. First up is a juvenile great horned owl surveying their surroundings from a poplar branch. The young bird is capable enough to be exploring on their own, but still lacks the sure-footedness and grace of a mature owl. This owlet puts on quite a show for the camera before locking their large amber eyes on mine. The head movements the owl does help it to gauge the position and distance of nearby objects, including myself. Since the eyes of owls cannot move in their sockets, they have to move their heads instead. It was lovely how this owl was observing me as much as I was observing it. Next up is this delightful fawn who appears to be stuck on the opposite side of the fence away from their mother and sibling. However, this isn't the first time that mother mule deer has left a fawn in my backyard to learn to hop over fences. To be trusted and seen as a safe place by the mother to teach her baby is truly remarkable. And after some deliberation, this little deer makes it over the fence to reunite with its family. Here is a rather busy bird watching moment. There's nothing like black oil sunflower seeds to attract chickadees and nuthatches. In this case, my slim and lightweight phone made capturing these point of view shots easier than a bulky full frame camera, showing that it's all about the right tools for the right job. Another chickadee shot, but this lovely friend is resting in a tree by the river. The image stabilization on the iPhone is surprisingly good. Despite the shot being handheld and zoomed in, the image is relatively stable. Additionally, the detail that becomes visible once the chickadee moves closer, such as individual feathers and the bird's breathing patterns, are quite marvelous. These are a series of shots depicting a wonderful wildlife scene in one of the least expected places in the province, West Edmonton Mall. Hidden in the parking lot just behind a concrete barrier lay a family of geese with five tiny goslings. It's 
lovely to be reminded of how interconnected we are with the natural world, even amidst a concrete jungle. Up next are some shots from the Clifford E. Lee Nature Sanctuary. While lacking the benefit of a full-frame camera, the elevated walkways and calm waters made it easy to capture these waterfowl's footwork under the water on my iPhone. On the way back, I ran into Mrs. Mallard along the path, which was a splendid way to end the day. To the best of my knowledge, this is a fur tussock moth, and this caterpillar's short recorded journey across my deck demonstrates the near capacity of the iPhone, capturing the caterpillar's features and movement in good detail for a creature no more than an inch long. One gull in particular is making quite the fuss over some abandoned food on a pathway. Intensely territorial, this walking gull does itself a disservice by allowing competing gulls between itself and its food. Soon a cyclist comes through and every bird flees. Finally giving the squawking gull a chance to reclaim their snack once the bike has passed. Lastly is this clip of a beaver nibbling on some tree branches. These semi-aquatic rodents eat the inner bark, or cambium, of poplars, willows, and other trees for food, which is what this friend is doing here. Note how they use their hands to manipulate the branches. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to see all of my content. Have a lovely day.